Hi guys, today we are going to talk about live streaming, how everything works and why you might encounter some issues at times. Interested? Stay tuned! I'm sure each of us has had problems with our streams at least once. Video lags, robotic sound, audio drops, all kind of issues which might screw up your show. Yikes! I know that feeling and I wish I could avoid such things happening to my stream. After watching this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how things work and why some technical issues might happen sometimes. Last but not least, you'll be able to fix them and improve your experience while you're live. Like and subscribe to our channel to get even more tips about live streaming. Be live! Streaming never was so easy! To get started, we need to have a basic understanding of how a computer captures video and sound. It happens very quickly, but there are dozens of difficult processes going on behind the scenes. The interesting thing is that video and sound are captured separately. Let's start with the video first. The video consists of pixels, small particles of different colors and brightness that have their own face. The more pixels and color shades we have, the better the image shown will be. Audio is an endless sequence of sounds. The computer receives information from a microphone about the position of its diaphragm, similar to the human eardrum. This is usually measured about 50,000 times a second and allows the recording of most sounds humans can hear. Impressive, isn't it? Later, this same signal can be used to move a speaker's diaphragm and recreate the same sounds on your audience's devices. As a result, they can hear what you say. Once our video and audio are captured, that's where the magic starts. I ended up figuring out that this kind of magic is difficult and complex to understand, that's why I invited a real expert in live streaming who gave us a peek inside the magic. Hi, my name is Tzafri Rehan. I am the CTO and co-founder of BeLive and the digital video enthusiast. Um, Tzafriya, please explain us what is live streaming so we can have a better understanding of what happens once we go live. Well, live streaming and especially live conferencing where people talk to each other is an illusion where one computer sends video and audio to another computer which plays it very fast as close as possible to being in real time. To us humans, that feels as if it is a real-time conversation. Every piece of data that we send over the internet travels using other people's equipment and computers, and there is no guarantee about how fast it will reach the destination or if it will reach the destination at all. Most importantly, we are all limited in the bandwidth in how much data we can send over the internet at any given time. Usually that limitation is brought by our own service providers, but it can also come from any other computer along the way to your destination over the public internet. Okay, so live streaming is illusion. I've never even thought about that. Uh, to be able to create that illusion of real-time conversation, we need to deliver video and audio very fast, right? Right, because if it wasn't going fast enough and it would take two seconds for me to send you every second of my video, there was no way for you to see me talking in real time and respond to me. To overcome this obstacle, our computers use something that is called a lossy compression algorithm. That is able to describe the video using less numbers by removing unnecessary parts of the video itself. Okay, and how can we remove them? Here is an example. Let's say you are speaking in front of a camera and behind you there is a white wall. To describe that one big white wall, there is no need to describe every single pixel of it. You can just say, here is one big white block. Another thing we can do, so our heads and mouths, they move a lot and change throughout the video but the background usually stays exactly the same. So we are able to save a lot of bandwidth by sending only the differences between each consecutive frame. And we don't need to send the entire picture 30 times a second. That's awesome. Thank you for your help. Ooh, tired of sitting at the table. Let's talk about the tech issues you might encounter once you're live. 
So today we are going to cover the video lags, also the sound issues such as robotic sound or audio drops. Also, we will talk about streaming on the go and last but not least, playing music once your life. Let's start with the first one, video freezing. To understand that one, we'll need to dive into the tech stuff, but don't worry, I'll keep it simple. After the compression, turning the video and audio into the numeric data, we are ready to stream. But how do we send the data? Every few sounds and pictures are packed into small boxes called packets. Once they're packed, we can send by to them and they'll travel all the way to our audience to be watched. But the thing is, those boxes might get lost sometimes. Sometimes they might arrive ahead of each other. It all depends on the internet and the amount of information transmitted. If one of the packets is lost during the transfer, we will hear a robotic sound or see the frozen picture in the stream. Once the missing packet gets to the right point, your life will be continued smoothly. You see? Two birds with one stone. Now we know that video freezing and the robotic sound have the same origin – missed packets. Echo. This one is quite interesting. Most often the sound doesn't cause any issues even with the poor internet connection. But I think all of us had those issues with acoustic feedback, noise or echo effect. Echoes happen when someone in the call has a speaker too close to their microphone. What you say goes out of the speakers into the microphone and back to your ear. If you also have your speaker too close to the microphone, it might create a closed feedback effect, which usually sounds like a continuous high-pitched whistling. To avoid such things from happening, most of the streaming companies use audio filtering systems which remove all of the unnecessary sounds from the video, such as typing on your keyboard or humps or your computer fans. As a workaround, we recommend using earbuds or headphones, they help in most of the cases. Streaming on the go. This is a disaster. I invited my friend to showcase it. Hi, Maria. Hi. How are you doing? Doing great. Thank you for helping me. Can you please run or dance? Sure. I try to move around. Is this good enough? Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Welcome. Bye. Bye. So, have you seen that quality? It's unbearable. But I have an explanation for that. Remember our expert told us about live streaming and the way it works, about capturing only the part of the frame which changes without transmitting the full frame? The more changes you make to the image, the more difficult it will be to transfer the video and not oversue the bandwidth. So, and it definitely will reflect on the quality of your show, as it did right now, since the importer would need to proceed much more information and describe every frame of the video fully. And last but not least, playing music when you're live. Agree, it's super cool to have a nice background music and create that atmosphere, but what happens when we play it? Not something we expected, right? Remember we talked about the filtering system which removes all of the noises? The thing is that it removes music as a noise as well, for our voice to be heard better. I hope now you understand why sometimes you might experience problems when you're live. It is also important to remember that broadcasting is extremely difficult process which requires a lot of resources. So remember, in order to achieve the best quality of your streams, you need to have a computer with a good CPU quality and a strong internet connection. And don't forget about the tips we shared with you today. Let us know in the comments below what issues you experienced recently and we'll do our best to help you resolving them. Uh, like and subscribe to our channel. See you! Bye!